Shalom. My name is Michael Decker, and I'm a lawyer within the law offices of uh, Decker, Pex, Ophir, and Co. Today I wanted to discuss uh, a matter of uh, kidnapped children and um, in the framework of uh, our family uh, law department, which we have. Um, our office deals also with uh, situations whereby uh, children um, who are in joint custody of uh, two parents are kidnapped to another country. So what does it mean basically to kidnap a child uh, to another country uh, in accordance with the relevant laws? First of all, um, Israel, uh, together with most Western countries, is signed on the Hague Convention for the prevention of uh, um, uh, kidnapping children. And in Israel, there's actually a law uh, that ratifies this convention called the Hague Convention Law uh, for the return of kidnapped children from the year 1991. So when is a child kidnapped, basically? Uh, if uh, the residence of a child is in a certain country, um, and if uh, the whereabouts and the culture of uh, this child and his upbringing and his language and his friends and his uh, educational surroundings are all part of a certain country, then um, it's uh, clear uh, that the child was kidnapped from this country if he was taken from one, by one parent to another country and not uh, returned. So what are basically the, um, the steps can, that can be taken if uh, a child now has been kidnapped from Israel to another country? Uh, since Israel is signed on this convention, there's a special international department within the Ministry of Justice that handles situations like this. Our office has um, close contacts with this department and basically the State of Israel will operate in order to uh, um, uh, return the child uh, uh, to Israel. Another option is by contacting a lawyer in the country where the child was kidnapped. So this lawyer will contact, will address the relevant authorities in that country and the courts, the relevant family courts, in order to obtain an order um, to return the child to Israel. Sometimes, however, uh, the opposite situation occurs and a child is kidnapped to um, Israel. And in a situation like this, uh, for example, let's say an Israeli had a, has a relationship and is married to someone abroad and the, merit, and the marriage ended, or even if it did not end yet, the Israeli um, spouse basically even, let's say, tells the foreign spouse that uh, he or she are taking the child for a vacation, and even if it's an agreed-upon vacation, if the Israeli parent does not return the child, that would be a matter of kidnapping. And, uh, and our office handles situations like this, and we have represented uh, foreign uh, spouses who basically were in a situation like this where the Israeli spouse kidnapped the child to Israel, and in a case like this, we would contact the family court in Israel in order to obtain an order to return the child to its country. Um, anyway, um, uh, our office uh, deals with situations like this quite a bit. And if you have any questions on the matter, you can feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to assist you and answer any question. Thank you for your time.